Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Dark Souls. And in the last episode, dude, we uh, we decided to go downstairs and then head out into the woods, and we stumbled upon a boss fight that, dude, we fucking killed it on the first try. I was so pumped. <laughs> I, I, I was a proud father at that moment, despite the fact that I am not a father, but you get what I'm saying. And so, through that, we got a whole shitload of souls that I was able to level up a little bit with and get our halberd to plus five. And then uh, we also got, uh, we got this, um, we got this key to the watchtower basement, which I, I don't know where that is. I think I know where it is, but more than likely I don't know where it is. And in case you're wondering why I don't have souls, because we totally had some to start with, I started filming... Um, a little, a few minutes ago, and for some reason, the uh, the my capture program shut down, and then I ended up dying. <laughs> so it was pretty stupid. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to venture out to see if I can figure out where that place is. And uh, it, I mean, it's it's in Undead Burg somewhere, which makes me feel like I I might know where it is. There's only one door that I can think of it specifically, um, but we'll see. We will see. Again, getting better with these, by the way. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if I remember where... Like, the first place that I'm thinking that it may be in, that I'm probably wrong in thinking, is that, um, like, the area right after we kill the Taurus demon, there was this one gated area before talking with that, that weird, crazy-ass, like, worshipping the sun guy out on the ledge. There was, like, a gated door that I don't think I remember checking. And... So I kind of want to go look at that. I'm it may be an absolutely enormous waste of time. I also know there's probably a much faster way to get there than the way I'm going, but I don't feel comfortable going back through the area with that giant motherfucking armored pig again. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in a way that makes me feel comfortable. You know, comfortability is important, especially, you know, when you're wearing sweatpants. Just don't ever wear those to a nightclub, because, you know, or like a strip club more specifically. The last thing you want to have happen is having, you know, some chicks dancing up on your junk, and then you get up out of your chair and you got a, a raging, a raging erect, you know. You got your erector set running on full, <laughs> and that would be bad. I am not saying this via personal experience. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I am not I am not that stupid to fall for such a thing. <laughs> that's just a that's just a matter of common sense, you know. You can't just go strolling into a place like that. Who would ever go into a place like that wearing sweatpants anyways? <laughs> that's just that's just ridiculous. Um There's also this gate here, and I, it's probably not because I think this one opens from the other side. So I don't think it's this. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't that one. Um, but yeah, one that I'm thinking though. By the way, by the fucking way, okay, this has been like weighing heavily on my, on my, on my chesticles since last night while I was at the barcade, and uh, we'll talk about some more experiences that happened there last night, because I had some doozies. <laughs> the things that beer can do to you, and, and others. Um, in this case, not others, it was just totally me, but... I've said I I'm pretty sure I've said this before and I'm I'm totally going to say it again. If there are any Hollywood directors out there not like there would be any watching this video for any reason because you know, I'm the most popular man in the world, I suppose. Now, can I get over here? Is there I would love to be able to get over here. Uh, I feel like there's a way to do that. I just I don't remember how to jump. Um I mean, I know how to do the lunging thing, but I don't think that that would necessarily work. I want to try that, though. <laughs> okay, okay, that's the moment where I realize I'm not going to try that anymore. You can't walk out of that thing and do a fucking pirouette and think that's going to get the job done. <laughs> Anywho, okay. Let me, let me not get away from myself here. If there are any Hollywood directors watching out there, even though I know you never will be for any reason at all, because <laughs> there's never been a reason for you to be inclined by, by watching my stuff, but if there is, if there is, I'm telling you, I am fucking telling you, you want to make some money? Make a goddamn siphon filter movie. 
I was sitting there. I was. I was okay. So I'm at the barcade last night, and I'm I'm eating like these. I'm drinking my uh, my fresh squeezed IPA. That's that's uh, mixed with Blue Moon, which is so fun. It's so good. And I was eating my uh, smothered fries, which oh my god, that is that is one of nature's treasures. I tell you what, in in my, I tell you what in my Hank Hill voice. Okay, so this is where I died. Um, run out here, and we're gonna go run down the stairs. I have a plan. Oh boy. Oh no, that's not. That was that was bad. That was that was bad damage right there. Poppin' Eastus. He didn't actually do it. <laughs> but that's fine. That's that's beside the point. Oh my god! Really? I was standing in like the same place. <sighs> Another waste of Estus. Cool. All right. What I am trying to do. See, now he did the jump right there. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna make a run for it. Come on, baby. You gotta get all the way down here. I can't imagine that it was this. That's... Oh, that's the basement key. Okay. <laughs> was this the right... I guess this may have been the right one then. I, I'm not particularly sure. I was expecting total failure out of that. <laughs> but the question is, was that... See, that's... Okay. So, lower undead burg. But that's... The watchtower basement key is different. So... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was my PS3. Just... <laughs> that was... That was nuts. That was crazy right there. Okay, we're fine. We are totally fine. Um, but yeah, dude, I was... So I was eating my stuff, and I saw on YouTube that somebody had made a Siphon Filter the movie, which what they did is they just... They took, like, all of the... Like, all of the cutscene and, like, FMV sequences and just, you know, put them all together in a row. And, dude, it was awesome. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, they could totally... You could make a good quality action movie out of this. You could totally do it. Need Soldier. Okay. What's up here? Um, but yeah, dude, like, it's, it's, it's like a match made in heaven as far as, as far as action movies are concerned. Like, somebody needs to do it. Like, oh, hey. Wait a minute. Have I been here? Pretty sure I have been here. Or have I not? This, this all looks very familiar. Un oh, yeah, yeah. I literally just went fucking full circle. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, you know what? Since we used up some Estus, we may as well just uh, run back over here and rest real real quick-like. Well, that's intriguing. Um, it's, it's awesome at the same time. Oh, that's, that's intriguing. That actually made me really happy. Okay, let's go over here real quick. Let's uh, go run over here and then go through the door and kind of funnel them all in there and then we'll be good to go. Oh, no! Okay, that could have been way worse. Oh, jeez, okay. God, these are definitely the types of people that if you told them to jump off a bridge, they'd totally do it. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this is a, this is a very, very close quarters affair right here. Okay. Um, but, yeah, dude, having, like, a real live-action Gabe Logan, Leon Zing, Eric Romer, and, like, Markinson type of thing going on, like, it's, it's actually, it's a pretty rich story, man. You got, oh, Jesus. Um, you got, you know, a fucking crazy-ass, like, man-made virus that can be programmed to kill anyone or anything within a radius of 100 miles or more. It comes, you know, it comes to the United States where they gotta, you know, disarm some crazy ass viral bombs. The the meeting with uh, with Gabe Logan and and uh, Anton Gerdu is fucking awesome with the with the flamethrower inside of the museum. Um, like it's it's fucking it would be amazing. And then uh, you know where Leon gets infected with the with the virus, and uh, you know you gotta go to you gotta go to. Um, Romer's stronghold in Kazakhstan, and there's like the other crazy cool boss fight with him um, fighting against the chopper out in the in like the snowy stronghold area. Um, 
the part with the Farcom warehouses, which is my favorite part of the whole game, doing that whole experience where it's just like the crazy ass war between Fagin's men and Romer's men, finding out that, you know, that Benton and Markinson were both, you know, playing both sides and all this stuff, dude, it's, it, it would be so cool, and like the last part where, you know, where Logan has to like race against the clock to, to like disarm and destroy the, uh, the R9 Deviatka missile that, you know, had like Somebody, the, anybody, oh. anybody, help me, unlock the door, damn, I'm finished, how did this ever happen? Well, I'll ask you one question, sir. Is this door spear-proof? Apparently it is. <laughs> That's impressive. It's impressive. It's totally... Need life. Need life. I just want to... Like, apparently I can't do anything with that door. It's not interactable, if that's even a word. Uh, okay, let's move on here. But yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. That needs to be a thing that happens, because it would be really fucking cool. But hey, what do I know? You know, I'm not a I'm not a Hollywood I'm not a Hollywood director. So who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Be wary of boss. Oh no, dude! There's another boss around here. I just got out of one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. This, this this is good. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good, guys. This is really cool. These fucking people and their little poison bullshit. Not having any of it. Boom! So, so I went to the uh, so I went to the barcade last night and I was hanging, and uh, I was just like needing to have myself in a good mood, and so I had I went in there. I was, you know, blasting music in my headphones the whole time. Listen to a whole lot of Nas actually. I con I constantly forget how good of a rapper he is. I mean, he he does a lot of you know. Oh, no 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 no. There we go. Much better. Um, I I mean, I'm not a big fan of, like, all of his political bullshit, but, I mean, outside of that, dude, he's really good. Hey, Pelage the Corpse. Large Soul of a Lost Undead. That sounds good to me. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Boy, you thought you were just gonna sneak right up on me now, didn't you? You little fucking jizz bag. Wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna let you do it. I would love for there to be a bonfire right around here somewhere if I'm going to be walking through that. Hey, this is good. This is all really good. I mean, that's all thief armor, though. That's probably not going to be good for me, I don't think. Yeah, see, that's all lower stuff. So, doesn't really benefit me too much. Um, yeah, and I saw there was also, like, a thief shield in there, or was it the target shield? I, I forget. Either way, it's it's definitely not better than the one I'm using, so I guess we're probably not going to use any of that stuff. Um, but I decided in the midst of my, you know, oh, so I thought somebody dropped down. I guess I was sorely mistaken. I don't know if I want to go through here right now. I, I really want to try to find a bonfire first, and maybe down here they'll give me one. That would be super, super cool if that were the case. Um, but I decided, <laughs> I decided in the midst of my, oh, hey, that was a nice, a nice near ambush there, but you failed. Oh. What was that little bat? <laughs> Is this guy, was this guy like a cheerleader at some point? That was crazy. Um, I decided like in the midst of all my drinking that I was going to just start singing songs aloud <laughs> and not really caring who heard. And so I decided that. I, I probably my my biggest highlight of, of the whole thing was um, was when I decided to uh, play House of the Dead and I was just singing aloud like oh wait a minute I think I know this area oh ah jeez I think I've heard about this area before at least I think I've seen something familiar in here let's check this out hello. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong place. Who's to know? What exactly goes on here? Um, but yeah, I decided to sing a whole bunch of just uh, Huey Lewis in the news stuff. You still have your senses oh. about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moves? I need your songs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
yeah, do you need some of my souls to, like, put on top of your scalp to, you know, not have your exposed brain showing over there? So we've got, okay, so we got some of these. Poison throwing knife, a dung pie. <laughs> That's funny. I would rather not have that affect me at the same time. Ooh, charcoal pine resin. This could be good. Having just a fire weapon would be pretty awesome. I'd be down to buy a couple of these. These things all sound pretty cool. Poison effects, prism stones, humanity. This is all right. This is this is cool. This is cool. Um, I'm thinking. Hmm, definitely gonna buy a couple of these. A little bit four of those. Well, maybe I will someday. I'm getting really far away from this boss fight, though. Um, but yeah, I just decided to sing a whole bunch of those out loud, and I did really, I actually got, like, the furthest that I've ever gotten on one credit, um, when doing that. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> so, I felt pretty damn good about that. Oh, this is the, okay, I know where this is. This is totally the gate all the way back over here. That's awesome. Okay, this is good. This is very good. So we're actually not too far away. If I really w if I really wanted to, I could go back to Firelink Shrine and, and heal up and then take this thing on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that actually seems like a fairly safe thing to do at this point. Um, just because... And for all I know, there's there's actually probably a bonfire like right up where I was. But again, we're, we're sticking with the, with the theme of, of comfortability here. Um, but yeah, so I did that. But the, I think that the, the funnier version of that... <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. I think, the, I think the funnier version of that was when I decided to play Strikers 1945. <laughs> and I just, I had, I was just playing like some, like some, uh, like 90s and early 2000s jams. And found like a playlist there. And I was, I was just listening to some. And right as I started up the first level, I, I put my phone just down on the thing. And I was just going to let it be whatever it was going to be. And... <laughs> It just so happened. Oh, come on. Really? The one guy? The one guy? Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, it turns out the, the song that decided to play at that one moment, thank God it gave us back up to 10, by the way, because we're probably going to need all of those. Um, thank God. Uh, the the song <laughs> the song that started playing right as I started was totally fucking "Livin' La Vida Loca" by Ricky Martin, <laughs> and it was magic, dude. It was so funny. Like I did, I was I set a new high score on on that on that machine um, while playing because that song was on, and I don't think it was necessarily because it was that song. I think it was just because of the fact that you know it was it was a it was like a kind of a an upbeat, you know, fast-paced song, and and so it just kind of got me a little bit... I had more of a rhythm going on because of that. But I will say one thing. Like, I'm not a Ricky Martin fan by really any stretch of the imagination. But I'll tell you one thing. Living the Vita Loca is definitely a jam. Like, that song... It's not like I'm going to go out of my way to listen to it, but if I hear it... Dude, that song... It, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Namely, the, the, uh, the music video for that was, was pretty rad. There were definitely some uh, some hot sizzling little ladies in there, but dude, it's it's the jam, and I, I have a I have a newfound respect for it even further at this point because of the fact that um, that it totally you know helped me put up a new high score on that on that machine, and that game's hard, man. That that game is is most certainly not easy. So yeah, dude, I was able to I was able to get some good quality stuff out of that. All right, so let's head head back towards the boss fight now. Maybe take a maybe take a crack or two at it, because that is what that, it, that may or may not be what Brian Boitano would have done. Um, but I think he would have sm uh, smoked a bowl of crack or two at least. Maybe not a third one. That might have been a little too much. Oh no, dogs! No, you know what? I ain't giving you no damn kibble for this. You're you're not getting the treats now. Fuck no. You don't deserve them. You can't just go and and fucking butt charge me like that. All right, let's traverse the light and see what in the hell we've done to ourselves. Oh no! 
Jeez. That is a big boy. That's a big man. Oh, boy. Come on, pop the thing. Thank you. Wowzers. This is this is very, very enclosed space, man. Jeez. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Oh, boy. Okay. Capra, you know. Sheesh. I can fix it! I can fix it! Holy cannoli. Alright, well, that's gonna be fun. Like, it probably wouldn't be that bad if there weren't all the fucking dogs in there. But I, I don't feel like in all likelihood I can just, like, run away from all of it. I can't just, you know, run away and never return and leave for my entire childhood and come back and fight my uncle and, uh, you know, and totally murder him. Um, I don't think I can really do that. Or, actually, you know what? Simba didn't murder him. Uh, the, the fucking hyenas totally did. Later on. I mean, he definitely, you know, hoisted him down into the pit. Um, but yeah, then the hyenas totally killed him. So, that was that. The only friends you ever had went and turned on you and killed you. Because you totally deserved it, you piece of shit person. Oh, no! You... F oh, no! I lost all the souls! I accidentally clicked in the thing to do the... 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 the fucking... Um, <laughs> to do the... The aiming, I didn't, I didn't mean to do it at all, I was just trying to adjust the camera, and I accidentally clicked it in, and it focused on the person behind me and made me run off the fucking thing. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, well, shit, there goes all the souls. Not like I had a ton of them to begin with, but it's, it's the principle of the thing, man. It's the principle warts! You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand, Arnold. You didn't murder anyone today! <laughs> hey, that's actually pretty good. Like, I wonder how long it would have taken Sid to actually construct that that uh, little voodoo doll out of that bar of soap, because not only not only is it the fact that you're carving something out of a bar of soap, but he actually did a... it was really detailed. Like, he did a really good job with that. So, you know, gotta give the man some credit where it's due. Okay, let's... All right. <laughs> Hey, if that's what you're gonna do, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you're doing's wrong, you know. Okay, so we'll just continue right through here. Um, but what was I? What was I even talking about? Well, yeah. So that was that was just a little bit of that, and I was just like totally rocking out to a whole bunch of different like soundtracks and stuff while I was there, and there were definitely people that were looking at me kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Probably because you don't see that terribly often. You usually don't see people... I mean, you'll see people... There's people in there all the time that are, you know, listening to their own music, but generally not people that are, like, rocking the fuck out like I was, where I'm sitting there singing songs aloud whether or not there are people next to me or not. I didn't really care. I was just going to do whatever I was going to do, and I, I was fine, you know? I was fine with it. Partially because I was, you know, mildly intoxicated, but... You know, I probably would have done it even if I was... Even if I wasn't. Made it even better... I think it made, especially with the House of the Dead one, there were these there were these two... These two kids that were like, you know... The, oh, I'm, I'm totally a fucking gangster type of kid. I listen to rap all the time, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna hold the gun all sideways and act all fucking tough and whatnot. I think I'm gonna let this thing tick down for a moment before we go in there. I just don't want to have any sort of any sort of hindrance before going into this. But they were they were playing through the game, and they only they got killed before they even got to the first boss. And they're sitting there when they actually killed the first boss. They were like fucking screaming like school children, like in their accomplishment. And I I sat here like shortly afterwards. Oh my god! Oh my Jesus! Yep, this is. This is just not gonna go well, man! I don't even know how to fucking get out of the opening of the door! Jeez! You would think there would be something we could do there. <laughs> there's just, like, nowhere... Like, you just... You go in the door and he immediately just starts charging at you, and there's, like, hardly anything that you can do to, uh... to be able to get out of the way, you know? Like I feel like I feel like I need to utilize those stairs is something that I need to do. Um, obviously, 
It would be nice if there weren't any fucking dogs in there, but I totally don't have any control over that. Like, if I could, if I could kill them really quickly, that would be super awesome. Um, that way I could actually, you know, focus on the real problem. That is the boss. But they don't really want me to have it that way. You're trying to give me so many things to try to worry about and focus on. And he totally just did the same thing again. Alright. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to... I don't really know how to address that point. I was thinking it probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I used one of those uh, things to imbue my weapon with fire. That would probably uh, maybe help me out a little bit. I don't even know. I'm just assuming it would be helpful because I'm in an area that's got like a whole bunch of, you know, like foliage and plants and stuff, and fire is the natural enemy of of nature-y stuff. I don't even know really if that would even do anything, though. Um, but I might as well try it. <laughs> Not like I'm going to actually get any hits in in this, in this moment, because I can't fucking do anything to this guy. Because he fucking destroys me before I even have a chance to react. Thanks. Yeah, super cool of you. Nope, not happening. Okay. Here we go again. Maybe probably the last time we're going to be able to deal with him. Maybe one more time if we're lucky. We'll see what happens, though. Alright, here they come. That's not what I asked you to do. I just asked you to... Just to stab him. If I wanted you, if I wanted you to kick him, I would say, Hey, controller, what I really want to do to this dog is, is Michael Vickett and kick it, you know? Vick it and kick it. Boy, that's a good... That's a really good catchphrase right there. Vick it and kick it. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, though. That's totally terrible. But awesome at the same time. Okay, so where's the one... Here it is. Let's give it a... Let's give it a go. It's not... I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna die in, like, 12 seconds anyways, but hey. I'll feel better by knowing I had at least tried something. Run, baby, run! Oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Cool! Yeah! Yeah, walk in the door dead in, in not even 12 seconds. I didn't even make it there. That was just immediate doom. Immediate, complete, and full doom. Fuck. This would be so much easier without those fucking dogs, damn it. Alright, well. I did not go over well. This, I can foresee being an absolute, unmitigated disaster for the, for the immediate future. <laughs> We have now, my friends, we have now reached the gargoyle boss all over again. Just the moment where you realize you don't really know how to properly attack him, and you can't make enough, you can't even make enough progress to, to feel like you're, to even build confidence with. Like, it's just, it's just pure disaster every time. Like, the, fir the first time we went in there and fought him was the best time. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come off it. So maybe what we need to do, maybe we just need to stop trying to theorize a way to do it and just go in and try fighting him. I mean, we were at least able, the one time we went in there just gung-ho trying to fight him, we actually got a couple of good hits in on him. So maybe that's what we gotta do, you know? When I, when, sometimes when I overthink things is when it gets worse. So we're just we're gonna we're gonna take one more crack at this guy, which obviously we're not gonna kill him, but we're gonna take one more crack at him, and uh, and if if it all works out, then then fine and dandy. If it doesn't, then you know maybe I'll I'll analyze I'll try seeing if there's something I can exploit when I'm editing this thing. I didn't really give myself a lot to work with here, so it's gonna be it's gonna be something that I'm probably just gonna have to go trial by fire on. And uh, as, as my rule goes for this series that I have kind of implemented is, if I go, like, two full episodes of not making any progress during this fight, I will probably enlist my friend Sean for some, uh, for some advice. I mean, I won't... He probably won't be able to necessarily help me, because we haven't successfully, you know, gotten uh, that component to work. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, here we go. It's the... It's the final countdown. Man, does that hurt. God, I don't have any... No! Oh, 
god. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Tell you one thing, the music for this for this fight right now is hard as shit. No. You gotta block. Thank you. Gotta gotta block, thank you. Oh shit, no. Okay, that's Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Shit, yep, that's gonna be it. That's... Oh, we were we were so close to killing him! <laughs> wow! I didn't even notice. I should have used that moment that he jumped back to Estes. Wow! You know what? You know what? We're, we're close. We're close. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try it again. I didn't realize... I was just... I was so caught up in the moment. I wasn't even looking at his health bar. I am absolutely going to try that one more time. Is it gonna work? Maybe not. Maybe I got a little bit. Maybe I got a little lucky on that. But I gotta try that one more time. I, I gotta try it one more time. If I can, if I could end this episode with another boss kill, oh, 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 oh man, I'd be beaming in that department. I would be. I that that would be like I earned a fucking like a couple of shots of fireball for that. Not like I have any here that I could drink, but you know, in my mind, I will I will have earned it. That will kind of sort of make up for the for the utter the utter sadness and and stress that piled up from my whole you know tickets with the cop thing last night. I've already got enough things that I got to put up with anyway. So I got to go I got to go and get my headlight changed. Um, I'm gonna have to probably go to the DMV. It's, it's probably on Monday to have them get my my address thing fixed up. Uh. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. All right, Mr. Capra Demon. Copper Demon. I don't even know how to pronounce that properly. I mean, I will I will definitely tip my Capra to him, um, you know, when it is that I actually kill him. And I'm going to kill him. Oh, yes, I am. All right, let's slowly sneak up on the man. And then, blah, blah. Yeah, how about that? How mortified are you, Mr. Other Throwing Knife Guy over here, watching your your comrade? Like he watched the part. The part that's super dick about that is that you know that guy watched me do that entire thing. He watched me come down the stairs, and 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 slowly walk up to his his partner there, <laughs> and he just totally let me kill him. That's the best part of the whole thing. He's like, you know what? That guy owed me twenty bucks. And he just refused to pay it. He's owed me that for nine months now. And he always says, don't worry, I'll get the money to you. Okay, here we go. Estus up. I'm not trying to die by that little margin. Here we go. Okie dokie. Focus in on the man. Shit. That was, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Big mistakes everywhere, man! God damn it. Oh shit. Uh, uh, I just need to Estus once! No! God damn it! I just needed to get a fucking Estus off. Like, what happened in the first time we fought him is we were able to kill the dogs immediately. We got them both out of the way. I just couldn't get like a good swing on him that would allow me to do that. Shit. Ugh. All right, one more time, one more time, and that I'm being serious. This is final. I can't have these things be crazy, crazy long. These things are these. It seems like the length of these videos are getting longer and longer every time, <laughs> and that's not that's not always a good thing because this thing's gonna take like 30 years to to render now. Um, but yeah, this will be the final time. Absolutely. I just, I, I didn't want it to go out that way because I knew that I could have done better than that. I knew it. We just, we have to, we, we have to kill those dogs right away. If I can, if I can just, if I can get a clean hit on them like I did the, that first time, then I have, like, I have nothing to fear. Like, he really... Once, once his his minions are dead, he's really not that bad. I mean, he's got a couple of a couple of swings that are 
that really hurt, but, like, the only thing that really makes him as hard as, as he is is the fact that it's really close quarters, and he's got those two fucking dogs. <laughs> you get your ass out there, and you find that fucking dog. Alright, here we go. We're, we're gonna do it this time. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I feel good. Yeah, dude, he can totally see me. He can absolutely see me. He's like, he's like, you go right ahead, man. You go right ahead. <laughs> that is great. It's like, they're, I mean, they're, they're buddies, and they're totally not buddies at all. They're just, they both have the same job description is pretty much what it comes down to. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it now. I'm gonna, I am gonna murder those, those stupid-ass dogs if it is the last thing that I do. There we go. Okay. Here we go! Oh, pray to God, here we go. Dear God, let me slay this asshole right now. Yeah, or you can totally do that instead. Yep, this is not going over well. That's... Come on, take it! God, no! This is not in any way how I had envisioned it, damn it! God! <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. He is not that hard! Alright, well, I don't have a choice. We, we gotta stop right here. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Dark Souls, we're gonna take on this demon guy. Again, and probably for a little while in the foreseeable future, because I can't fucking kill him. But until then, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.